up with playing LSU. You listen, you 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 need to get this book so you know what's going on. <laughs> you listen, you need to go get this book and read it <laughs> so you can help Nick Saban and the boys. <laughs> Amen, amen. Listen, um, it's been a great weekend. It's been a great weekend. But now it's time for God's word. Not my word. Not your word. But God's word. And as we are in our theme, in our theme, unity builds the dream. Everybody familiar with the theme of this past conference, which not, won't, won't just end after this afternoon. It will go on. Unity, say it with me. Unity, Unity. Builds, the dream. builds the dream. And we heard some great word on yesterday from people. And so I was ha just happy to be in the number as a fly on the wall to hear those great words. But today, if you would, just go with me for a little bit. And we're going to stay in that same avenue talking about unity, but go with me, uh, I think, who's that back there, Ashley, and who, we, who you got back there with you, Mr. amen, that's Mr. V back there, amen, and they got it, I hope these scriptures, I'm on point, the Holy Ghost kick in, I don't know where I'm going to be, amen, let's go to Daniel's chapter 1, verse 17, ESV version, listen to the word, of God. ESV version. As for these four youth, God gave them learning and skill in all literature and wisdom. Wish you catch that right there. But then there's a comma and in a word, and Daniel had understanding in all what? Visions and Dream, dream. Somebody say dreams, dreams. Or oh, somebody already caught where we're going today. Dreams, dreams. Say that with me, dreams. Uh, let's go to Job, bro, Job uh, 33, uh, verses 14 and 15. Job 33, verses 14 and 15, also ESV version. For God speaks in one way and in two. Though man does not perceive it, watch verse 15, in a dream, somebody say dream, in a vision of the night when deep sleep falls on men while they slumber on their beds, somebody say dream. Uh, let's go back to Daniel, if you would, with me, 2 and 19, Daniel's 2 and 19. Then the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision of the night. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Somebody say it's a night thing. It's a night thing. Oh, God. I'm trying. This is supposed to. Okay. Go to 1 Kings 3 and 5. I'm trying to get through here. I'm trying to get there. 1 Kings 3 and 5. 1 Kings 3 and 5. At Gideon, the Lord appealed to Solomon in what? At what? In a dream when? By night, by night. We got some scholars in the room. And God said, ask. You didn't catch that. Ask. Prophet is normal. Ask. Good God Almighty. What I shall give you. Prophet is Katrina. He said, ask. Go to Matthew 27 and 19. 27 and 19, our last verse. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, you know we're talking about Pilate now. We're talking about Pilate. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, watch this now. The Bible says his wife, his wife sent a word to him, sent a word to the chief justice. And said, have nothing to do with that righteous man. She's talking about Jesus. Watch what she said. For I have suffered much because of him today. Today. Today in a what? In a dream. Good 
God, let's tag this text with the title this morning. Awake in my dream. Look at your name and say, I'm awake in my dream. Let me get over here. Say it with me. Say, I'm awake in my dream. See, 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 when we talk about awake in a dream, now notice I said, I, the text is awake in my dream. I did not say awake and dreaming. That's an oxymoron. It's impossible to be awake and dreaming. Because if you awake, it's not dreaming. It is what we call daydreaming. You get visions when you are awake, but when you sleep, you get a dream. So, Bishop, Bishop, you said that, Bishop, you already confused me. How can I be awake in my dream? Oh, God. So, so, so somebody about to catch where we're going here. So, 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 somebody about to catch where we're going right here. So, 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 so watch this. So if we're talking about awake in the dream, let me explain that. Um, uh, when we talk about awake in my dream, you're actually living and experiencing what you dreamed. That means you are having a conscious flashback of an event that happened when you were unconscious. You, you get that down there. Well, let, let me put it in context. Maybe put it that way. You can catch it then. We have a term, in, especially in the United States, a term. It say, I met the woman of my dreams. Some people say, I met the man of my dreams. Other people say, I have the job of my dreams. So, so, so you understand what I'm talking about now. You actually living in what you've been dreaming about. In other words, you have what you've been seeking. You, you, you're happy about what you thought about. All right, let me say it this way. And God gives us vision and dreams to prosper us holistically. Financially, mentally, physically, socially, intellectually. He gives us these dreams and he gives us vision so we can do what God wants us to do for the kingdom. See, sometimes we think uh, when I'm living my dream, I'm living in my dream house, I'm living in my dream location. It ain't all about you. It should be about a multiplicity of things that, that give God glory. I know several millionaires. I'm not talking about just playing. I know several multi-millionaires. And, and, and I, they watch and bless you. But they just as unhappy as they can be. They look at their account and say, that's my dream figure. But they look at their life and say, it's a nightmare. Let me, let me, let me leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. See, God gives us these dreams to prosper us. We must implement action with these dreams. Everything starts with a vision or a dream. Everything. You, 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 the, the, what you have on right now. You, I know you may have went to the mall and picked it out, and you had in your mind what you wanted. That's one form of the vision. But before you got to the mall, the person that designed it, and put it on market for sale, had a vision. They, they thought about it. They may have had a dream about it, and they put action, and here you are in the mall purchasing it. Okay, see, I'll catch you. Uh, the computer programs, all that started with a vision and sometimes a dream. Everything we have, the movies that you go watch, that's why you got to watch what you're going to see. I, I, I know it's this thing coming up this week they call it Halloween. You better stay out of that. Okay, I, I'm, I'm trying not to go to the moment. Because all that didn't just happen with a dream. Some demonic was put into that director's mind that came demonic. And it's up on the screen. And you there eating popcorn talking about, look at there, look at there, look at there. It started with a dream. Watch this. If it's not of goodness, it is not of Godness. That's your tweet for the day. If it's not of goodness, it's not of God. But when it's from God, 
There lies a problem now for the adversary. When something is from God, the adversary gets upset. And that's why he wants to disrupt our dream. That's why he, he, he don't want us to operate in our dreams. He don't want us to prosper. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And he, want us, he wants to destroy the dream. You know, we talk about unity builds a dream. We, we got to have that unity build a dream. But after we get the dream, we got to do something. The devil, but let me say this, see, see the adversary, and I'm not one to see the, the devil behind every bush, because behind the bush is probably your cousin. Let me get over here. <laughs> the adversary. See, this is what the devil wants. The devil wants us to stay asleep on our dream. He wants us to sleep on our dream. Just dream about it. Don't do anything about it. Let me see if I can make that clear. You ever heard people say one day? I plan to. I wanted to. I thought about it. I, I, I did. See, all that is on sleeping on your dream. And that's what he want to do. He want to keep us in a semi-comatose mode. So all we do is, is just think about it. And every day and then we'll talk about it. And sometimes we even lie about it. Let me get out of that. The devil plan is to keep us asleep on our dream. But how? How? How does he do that, Bishop? Let me tell you how he does it. He does that by keeping us in a lack of knowledge. Okay, let me say it this way. In other words, he's putting us in a place to where we disown our own dream. Come on, we, 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 it, 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 it's ministry. You heard Bishop, they're all over the place. Well, that's your ministry. That's your dream. That's your calling. Don't disown it. Don't give up on it. He gave it to you. I'm, I'm, we're going to call a witness in a minute to, to, to prove where we're going. So, so, so in other words, how does the devil keep us asleep on our dream when we should be awake in our dream? Disowning, that's number one. Then he puts this thing called delay. Well, you know, when I get everything paid and I get all the children out of the house and, and when I lose weight or when I gain weight or, 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 or when my cousin give me my $25 back or, 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 or when that joke across the street apologized to me. We, the delay. But when I get myself, I get a better suit. Delay, delay, delay in our dream. Watch this, watch this, watch this. And then he get us, we talking about disowning, but he have us denying the dream. If God called you, he called you. Dr. Belton, he called us to have big dreams. I want to say, Bishop Elect Banks, big dreams. And we have no need to be denying. But watch this, this is what he does. He disowns, he delays, he has us denying. But then he deters us. Deters us, de 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 deters us from, 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 from getting there. How, do, how does he deter us? He gets us so busy. You had good intention. You were going to go back to school. You were going to go register. And you just said, let me check Facebook for five minutes. And then that picture that you put on there, you, you got two likes and 12 dislikes. And now, and now you detoured and on a detour because the devil got you over here because he don't want you to register. You purchase new shoes to walk, a new uniform, you stretch, you got everything ready to go exercise to get fit, to get your medicine right, everything right, and then here come the doorbell, ding dong. Mr. Cousin, you know, I'm even sure if you relate to asking you, um, well... Detour, but it's your dream. But when you awake in your dream, you recognize things when you are awake. When you are awake, you realize there ain't nothing but the devil. Joker, I don't know you, Joker. Get out of my way. I got an appointment with Jesus. 
watch this, watch this. Well, let me talk about awake for a minute. Let me talk about awake because maybe we don't really understand. Webster said awake is to stop sleeping. Wake from sleep. Yeah, Bishop, well, I, know what, I know what awake is. That's in the physical. But do you know in the spiritual? What is awake in the spiritual? That means you on heightened alert to what's happening and what's going on. When people say things, you already caught what's going on. When people walk past you, she felt a Deborah Johnson, when people walk past you, you already know. When they drop them kids off at the daycare center, you already know you got to pray over that child because they've been in something. That's high alertness. And in your ministry, Olga, as leaders, you got to be alert to what's going on in your area. Watch, 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 watch. watch it. The definition of, of awake is stop sleeping, wake up from sleep. Watch this, to cease from sleeping, to wake up. But here's one right here, to become aroused or active again. Active again. When we, when we wake up, you got to do something. All right, let me see if I can paint a picture for you. In the morning, when you wake up, you can't just lay there. You're not asleep, but you're not doing anything. In the spirit, it's the same way. You are alert on Sunday. Oh, that's a good word. I got that. I got that. But that's all you do. And when we walk out of here, you're still laying in the bed in the spirit. See, 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 most times when, when, when the alarm clock go off every morning, we turn it off, we get up. Some people turn it off and go back to sleep. Some of us, the alarm clock is just going off. And we just say, it'll be all right. The battery going to run out in a minute. <laughs> Awake in my dream. Let me give you this component and call my witness and, and get out of your way. The components of being awake in your dream, say it with me. The components of being awake in your dream. Now here they are, here they are, here they are. And some of them we talked about and we'll hit some of them with our witness too. We got to stop sleeping overtime. See, see, see when we sleep overtime, um, you know most of us on Saturday... You don't want to get up. And, and that's okay because you don't really have a lot of responsibilities. And you may get away with that sometime, but if you're doing that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're going to get to this thing called unemployment. Watch this. That's the same way in the spirit when we oversleep in our dream. We get to this thing called unemployed in God's will because he calls you, he employs us, and if we're not doing anything about it, that is a problem. See, don't oversleep in your dream. When you get the dream, do something about it. Okay, that's one component. Don't oversleep in your dream. Here's another one. Wake up from the dream. Oh, God. We've been dreaming forever. You know, most of us, when we wake up in the morning, watch this, the third component is after waking up, most of us stretch. Ah, you got to learn to stretch in the spirit. What you talking about, Bishop? That means think deeper than you've been thinking. Do more than you've been doing. Go places you hadn't been. Change things you used to do. Make a plan. Make it work. You got to stretch in your dream. If you awake, watch this. Then we have to realize the other component. Realize, realize, I'm going to say it again. Realize the power of your awakeness. There's power in being awake. Because when you're awake, you can get up and start moving. You know, there, there, there's people that get up early in the morning. They get up early in the morning because they can get a lot done. In the spirit realm, if we're going to be awake in our dream, we got to get up and start moving. Even in your head, some of us have family members, we're up moving around and they're sleeping in the spirit. We got to go wake them up. But we can't wake them up if we're asleep. Watch it, watch it. Here's, here's, here's another component of it. Sometimes people have dreams at night and in the morning, here's a component, we forget the dream. Don't forget your dream. 
So what it didn't happen in 16, 15, 14, 12, 11, and 10? Don't forget your dream. Remember the dream. Most scientists say at night if you have a dream and you're trying to remember it and you wake up, write you a note. Keep your pen and piece of paper by your bed. Bitch, that's in the physical. What about in the spirit? Write you a note in the spirit. You can still write it down. He may give you a verse. Acts 12 and 24. You, what, you're dreaming over that. Get up and read it. Watch, 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 watch it. Watch it. He said, here's another one. After we don't forget the dream, then we cannot deny the dream. Don't deny it. D don't deny that what God said is for you. Because it's for you. And so many people ha have come right here in the casket. And we've had their home going. And the dream died in the casket. Because they denied it. That ain't for me. If God gave it to you, it's for you. Let me, let me, let me, here's another one. Don't delay the dynamics of the dream. Now let me help you out. What is the dynamics of it? What you do with what God tells you to do may bless someone else that's associated with you. Your moving will help your children, children, children. Your dynamics in, in, in being awake in your dream will help your friend child who may be the CEO to employ your child. Your grandson may start the business that's going to find a cure for cancer. But because you wouldn't do the dream, you wouldn't follow. I, 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 here's another, here's another. Don't tell your dream to everyone. Let, let me help you with that. The reason why you don't tell your dream to everyone, because you probably, you may tell it to the wrong one. And if you tell it to the wrong one, then they're going to discourage you. You say, look, I'm going to transform my area in my church with my church. We're going to transform something. And you tell it to the wrong person, they discourage you. You, you, you cannot be discouraged. See, now, now, now watch it. I got to say this. I'm going to add this Holy Spirit add in this one. We're talking about telling people, don't misinterpret your dream as a nightmare when it's really to help you negotiate to success. Okay, let me help you out. Sometimes we, we dream something. We say, that ain't for me. And then we get upset about it. What God is trying to say, I don't want you to get upset about it. I want you to pray about it. I want you to work it out because your ways are not my ways. And your thoughts are not my thoughts. Stop getting angry and get